Mina, Konponwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with Psalm 83 again, because I can't get out of this psalm, because I love the stuff it's talking about. This time I'm going to be looking at verses 5 and beyond that. So let's go. For they have consulted together with one consent. They form a confederacy against you, the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, Moab and the Hagrites, Gebal, Ammon, and Amalek, Philistia with the inhabitants of Tyre, Assyria also has joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot. <clears throat> now, I spoke a few days ago about how there were various tribes in Israel in one of the Psalms leading up to this one, and how that reminded me of the different Christian denominations, and how even though they're, they're separate, they have their differences, they still worship the same God. Well, there are also, on the other end of that, there are other various forces in the world that gather together against God against a Christian lifestyle. Um, that, that comes in, from what is coming to my mind right now, two forms. I can think of just sinful desire. Sinful habits, the desire, the desire to lie, the desire to steal, the desire to cheat, the desire to lust, the desire to procrastinate, the desire to be malicious, the desire to gossip the desire to hate, and you can keep on going on down that list. And there are so many, so many just ideas and philosophies and mindsets and heart attitudes that completely run contrary to the will of God, and they do, they conspire, they gather together to tear you away from the Lord and to bring you down to a low, low level where sin is dominant and your life is rendered worthless and meaningless as far as doing the things of God because you're wrapped up in a bunch of nonsense. And there are also other belief systems, and I'm referring to actual other faiths in this second scenario, things like Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Shintoism, Baha'ism, and several other religions. I would actually even, yeah, I would definitely include um, Orthodox Judaism in that because it doesn't recognize Jesus Christ. The, they do not recognize their Messiah, those who adhere to that faith. They are lacking the New Testament part of God. So all of them are also, they gather together and they're like, okay, let's tear down Christianity. Let's tear down the Bible. Let's tear down Christian beliefs um, because they disagree with those things. They don't like them. And they, now I'm not necessarily comparing those other religions to those sinful attitudes that I mentioned earlier. In fact, a lot of those faiths would say that those things were wrong. They would agree with me that those attitudes and those actions are wrong. However, just as those sinful attitudes and actions will draw one away from God, those false belief systems, those things that do not put Jesus where he is supposed to be, and that is equal to God the Father, equal to the Holy Spirit, one of the Trinity, the God of the universe, died on the cross and rose again in the flesh for our sins. If they don't put him in his proper place, they don't have the truth. They're missing it. And that unfortunately does make them enemies of God and enemies of the truth, even though they don't think so. If they don't put Jesus where he belongs, they are. And so while there are lots and lots of good things out there amongst the various Christian denominations that... And we need to come together, we need to unify, we need to realize we worship the same God, and we need, to come again, we need to come together and fight against these things that try to take Jesus out of his place, whether they be just downright sinful attitudes or fake, false belief systems, religions, philosophies, and ideologies that don't lead to Jesus and, that, and, via, and via him to God, that don't lead to heaven, and that can't save anyone or anything. As Christians, we need to mobilize and we need to fight. And as I've said many times before, our fight, it's not done with fleshly weapons. It's not done with swords and guns. It's done through prayer. It's done through dialogue. <clears throat> it's done through discourse. It is done in the realm of the spirit. The weapons of our warfare are spiritual, not carnal. They are mighty in God to the casting down of strongholds. And those are strongholds. They're not like castles that have been erected in the physical that you can see in some European countries. These are mindsets. These are ideologies, religions, philosophies, and sometimes just outright blatantly sinful attitudes. It, really, it, it fits well with the first examples I gave and the second. And as Christians, we need to be able to stand up and say these things are wrong, and here's why. So guys, uh, let's, uh, let, let's, let, let's get the denominations like the tribes of Israel to band together 
and to stand against these sinful attitudes and these false beliefs that tear people away from the truth and lead to a lifestyle that is completely not serving God, not pleasing to God, and won't save anyone or get anyone to heaven or in a true relationship with the one true living God, Jesus Christ. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.